scoring band 9 for IELTS listening? Yeah, it's possible. Here are the tips. Number 1. Improve your general listening skills. The goal of IELTS listening section is to test your listening skills. Do not use practice tests to improve your score. Is it not enough? They'll help you to become familiar with the test though, but won't much improve your listening abilities. It is much more effective to do various listening exercises. Listen to general listening materials like radio reports, TV shows, documental programs, news channels, etc. And only after that do the IELTS listening practice tests. Number two is to polish your topic of vocabulary. Section three of the test is almost always about education. For example, students and a tutor talking about an assignment learn all the vocabulary you can about studying at a university. This way you will understand this section better. Number three is about word types. Skip over the questions and decide which type of word fits in each gap. Is it a noun, verb, adverb or adjective? Write N for noun, V for verb and so on. This will help you to focus on the specific word forms while listening. Point number four. Plug in the situation. Try to get an idea of the situation. Before each part you will be given a short introduction. Now you will hear a dialogue between or you will hear a lecture on. This is how it would go. This information is not written on the question paper, but you will hear it. So be attentive. Note who are the speakers, why are they speaking and where are they. This will make understanding the rest of the recording much easier. Point number five, do not lose attention. Remember you will only hear the audio once. So if you didn't hear some words and passed over some questions, do not worry at all. Leave them blank and focus on the actual part. Review those questions at the end of the section, otherwise you will only miss more questions and tangle in the recording. You will need to read, write and listen all at the same time. Number six, watch out word indicators. Normally, uh, they are called signposts. Listen for indications like however, but, then, finally, actually, and so on. They help you to anticipate what the speaker will be saying. Number seven, do not write answers too quickly. A lot of students fall into this trap. As soon as they hear the needed information, they take it for granted. But sometimes this information is repeated or corrected further in the section. For example, let's look at a conversation between Sam and John. Sam, thank you. I received your email. So it is Lauren underscore John at gmail.com. And to which John responds saying, no, no, you have mistaken. It is Lauren underscore John underscore 20 at gmail.com. Sam responds saying, oh, I'm sorry. Number eight, check for silly mistakes. After each section, you have 30 seconds to check your answers. It is important to check spelling, plurals and word forms. Remember that only correctly written answers will gain points. Number nine, transfer answers accurately. At the end of the listening test, you will have 10 minutes for transferring your answers into the answer sheet. And quite often, students get confused in the enumeration. As you write down your answers, check that they fit into the correct numbered space. In other words, make sure that answer for question 7 goes into space number 7. And finally, point number 10, do not leave any blank answers. You won't lose marks for incorrect answers. So even if you don't know the answer, it is better to write something in the answer box. Read the question again and make a guess. All the best.